Thought he was going to go for the big hanger there for a moment. Now Jones approaching game 300. Back to Spargo. There's Pickett now. Clever little ball. 15 games, seven career goals from a 45 degree angle. Deliberate approach. Keeps it low. Has he got the legs? He has. And celebrates with the crowd who have missed the Demons at the MCG. Melbourne get the first. He sends it to the big pack. Paul Hunter, another debut top last week. Kasai Pickett. Look at the moves. Look at the twist. Look at the turn. Cozzy. Oh, he's got no right to do that. That is awesome. Gorn tapping it down. There he is. 31st disposal yeah. right there for Clayton Oliver. Fritch might get a hand on it here. No, long went underneath. Pickett steals the footy, smashes it over the shoulder. It's a long ball. That is an absolute gem from Pickett. He's a star. He's so exciting to watch. Staying involved around the ball. Just needs half a chance. Great snap. That's hard to do, get that much distance on a snap across the body. Piercing kick slipped through the hands of Gorn. He thought he was taken high. Still the Ds have got it. Brayshaw, short, clever, creative pick. It's going to impact down the track, but that's the first time they've got it into an open forward line. So the West Australian teenager who kicked a couple last week against the Saints sends it on its way. And pick it goaling, and that smile just makes your heart sink. Nobody forward at the football at all. Going to have to maintain possession. Oh, oh. Risk here because Pickett's in the vicinity. He slides in. He mops it up. He spins and he kicks a goal. Oh, Cozzy Pickett. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Amazing, amazing the coaching. You're getting kids to look down too long at the foot. And when you look down, in comes Cozzy. Number one attacking so weapons. So Fritch might fly, but Pickett is there to mop it up. Cozzy's got three. Good penetrating kick, isn't it? Just skims off the fist here and doesn't get enough bang on it. And didn't and stayed down. Yeah. No need to, for him to go up. He's a star, this kid. Pilot, that one play on as well, and then could have been a high tackle. Here goes Cozzy again for another one. Cozzy Pickett, he does it every week. He loves it, and he's got his fourth. And that might be enough for the D's. Not everybody agreed. Right now, I think they'd be reasonably happy. Oh, there's a little bit of some genuine former champions about him, isn't there? There's a little bit of Cyril. There's a little bit of Michael Long, the way he dashes down the field. Well, he immediately goes forward and puts this into a dangerous spot. Here is Fritz. He's causing all sorts of problems. Picking around the corner, snap. Oliver puts it into a really dangerous spot, BT. You talked about Fritsch and how dangerous he's been, and then Cozzy at ground level. He goes low and hard. Another back, Cozzy Pickett. Johnny on the spot. So much excitement attached to this young man. That's uh, beautiful. Long inside 50 for Brown. Just couldn't hang on. Pickett. Pickett. They eventually got the better of him. No, he got a push. Fell on his back at the last moment. Or Impey it was. Runs around. And he kicks the goal. Melbourne players who've been around. Pickett's in a bit of a wrestle behind. There might be a free kick. Cosie Pickett's going to get a gift here, I reckon. Stop. Stop now. Get up. You think this man isn't popular at Melbourne. Wait till it goes through. They're on the edge of their seats, the Melbourne fans. It's been an extraordinary night. They're going to go 6 and over the first time since 1965. And Cozzy has done it. Now it's all about speed. And Walker showed it wasn't just about speed. It was determination as well. But they come through. Melts them to pick it. And the D's from one end to the other. Certainly back to the future with Tom McDonald kicking yeah. the ball out. Good tackling, but... Too many mistakes coming from North Melbourne. Pick it again, pivotal. Petrarca demanded Brown to come at him. Mackay saw him off. 
Here's Cozzy. It's a different game when he's involved. So he was involved up on the wing, keeps it alive. Yep. And then look at him run on. He gets involved again. Sidesteps, gives, and he continues to run. He keeps going. At no stage does he drop off. And then he's the one there to rove the ball front and square. Jackson could be the prime target. Wow. Pick it. <laughs> and again. Back to Jordan. Inside 50 ball. Pick it at the back. Cozzy pick it. Dribbles it. Dribbles it. Home. Just trying to track Cozzy pick it as he comes through the contest. Unmarked and Saad that. 15 metres off, he just went to the front of the contest looking for the ball, but because he stayed live and active, and as the ball was heading towards boundary side, that's where the new front and square became for him. Just lined it up really well. Well done, Murray. Got the first touch and the second. Jackson keeps at him. Dubious handball. Haven't seen a lot of picket. You've seen him now. <laughs> run, baby, run. <laughs> So there, there's the fumble, but he's just got this pace. Look at that, makes it something out of nothing. So. Got the handball away, but it was to the opposite team in Melksham. Oliver, Melksham again, barely standing up, and Pickett takes the mark. Should go back and kick the goal 30 metres out directly in front. So Pickett here for a game-high margin of 32 points. Very deliberate, no problems. Goal umpire does not even move. Just thumps a high one. Wiedemann in good shape. Great work, McStay, to get in there late. Cozzy Pickett dribbles it through. Push and fend off, but that hurts the team. They had the ball at the half-back line. With that reversal of a free kick, it keeps the ball in the Melbourne forward line, and a great little goal there. Petrarca was surging past as well. Although he didn't want to wait. Wiedemann, Pickett off the front. Right foot snap. Kasai has got it. Terrific transition here from Melbourne. You could just see the quick play early on in the in the first half. Their only marked play on percentage was about 9% in this third quarter alone. They're running about 38%. And Cozzy Pickett, fantastic front and square. Oliver quickly down to Gorn. Walks out of the stoppage. Floats it inside 50. Cozzy Pickett with the one mitt. For the perfect start here for the Demons. That's very good. Pickett runs inside 50. Langdon's out the oh. back. It's in towards Pickett. What about that for a kick? Play. Stephen May was on his own. He was free again. Pickett plays on four last time he met the Giants. He's got his first. And Melbourne are on the board. It's a great look at Melbourne's zone here, isn't it? You see the players gritting up behind the ball. Petrarca got involved. Fritz scoop. Just lost it through the legs of Jonas. Somehow, Fritsch gave it off. Kazai Pickett, he pings it goal. It's long, it's strong, it's straight, it's through the middle. D's by 13. Yes, yeah, so and that zone behind the ball from Melbourne's elite. And one thing they do really well is once that ball's kicked, then they come at it and they clamour the ball and make it really hard for the opposition to get the ball back. But what a finish from Cozzy. Zone's one part of it, but this is just talent, isn't it? Just the electric ability of him to finish his work. Put it in front of Oliver, just let him run there. He in turn loops it over the top. Spargo got the kick away just in time. Alia off hands, pick it. There's a tackle late. Pickett has two, Demons have eight and lead by 26. Pickett so dangerous when it gets out the back. Off a step, Cozzy Pickett, bang! Well, Leppi, you talked about the forwards just being able to get out the back and being able to drift forward, and Cozzy Pickett tonight, we've been quiet over the last month, but tonight he's really exploded. Third goal, but what I've been most impressed by is his tackling pressure, his intensity, he's created so many opportunities for his other forwards and and he's getting his just desserts now goes inboard vandenberg runs away cousin strives to get there delivers pick it at the back it's spilling over can he get his boot to it he can read it beautifully 
Hardigan had Ben Brown done there, just misjudged it through his hands. And look at Pickett, he was sweating on that. Nice finish. Here's Petrarca, couldn't get in better hands. He slightly mistimed it. Cozzy Pickett senses a moment. Can Cozzy get his second goal? You bet he can. Great effort here from Cozzy Pickett. So elusive and a good finish. And Harrison Petty wins a really big one on one down one end. And all of a sudden, the momentum's back Melbourne's way. The Hawks. Brown. Have a look at this. Langdon's got four to the footy. It needs some depth in the kick. Just a little bit short. But Langdon will gather. Cordy went the lunge. Got him. Gave it to Pickett. And he, I think, kicks the goal. Cordy did well, but he, as you said, BT, had the outnumber at ground level. And Cozzy Pickett, he doesn't miss those. Lots of numbers here with the Western Bulldogs, but Viney bashes through a couple, squaring ball to Pickett. That is brilliant. Cosy Pickett missed a big one late in the game last week. Got to kick all of these, Melbourne. And he does. That, that's just not playing the game. He's Pickett getting involved. Salem over the top, Viney back to Pickett, his eyes light up, it's an open goal square, how does it bounce? And Cozzy's picking them apart. Good reward for Pickett because he led up, he took the mark, he gave it off and then he ran on and he got the finish. Poor old Joel Jeffrey, he's barely seen it, he's got no service and the ball just doesn't go forward. Yeah, in the team for Isaac Rankin who was dropped at selection this week, they're missing about eight of their best. Unkind bounce, a chance for Pickett and Pickett snaps a goal and an unkind bounce is Pickett's reward. Because in the end, you, all you can do is have field position on your on your opponent as and probably Lemons took a risk and lost touch but then had every right to go and win the footy you've got to be able to go and win the footy when it's there and it just bobbles up because he pick it cashes in now fritch back to melcham don't argue and then flicks it to pick it <laughs> he's gonna have to get every bit of this Heavy ball late in the quarter. What's he got? Siren sounds, and that goes straight through the middle. Brayshaw waited. Big Max, the run and carry guy, and it works. Jackson back inside. Petrarca, the Rolls Royce hits Pickett oh. lace out. How good was that? <laughs> Max Gorn, sensation. And he slams it through to put a big. Exclamation mark on a nice move by the D's. Donald's going to do the forward line ruck work with the man Richo's talking about. Oh, Here's Cozzy Pickett, look at the speed. He's just waltzed in and kicked the first goal of the night. Look at that there, Pickett. He was able to run through that stoppage and just no body contact there. Chris Scott wouldn't be happy with that. You cannot let that man come through the stoppage at pace like that because you can't catch him. Harms, Viney, Oliver, over the top, now to Harms. They continue to work forward, Pickett looking for another, kick the first of the night, he's got two. Quick response. This is better from Melbourne out of a conge congested situation. Had the out number, got some run and carry, run at the Geelong defenders, make them second guess, which they had to then, you eventually free up Pickett. And that's exactly what the Cats did in the second quarter to the Melbourne defence. Perfect that's... bounce to start the last term. Big Max put one hand out into the yes. chest of Petrarca and at the back picket. Nice this man here has made the most of his opportunities tonight, Cozzy. So exciting to watch him in full flight. Directly in front, Cozzy's got three. He's had three, three clearances, McInerney. McDonald now pick it a little chance. Can he conjure some magic? It shouldn't have gone through from there, but it has. 
a miracle goal. Well, one thing you've got to do with Cosy Pickett is make sure you get touch and feel on him because he, he's just the most dangerous guy around that stoppage there. Melbourne actually been really good at blocking for each other and creating space, but it was just a bit troublesome there. He just got goal side really early there and just had a really good run through that clearance. And you're not going to stop him when he's got time and space like back, that. Guys. What a finish. Trying to get free in the end. McDonald, Jackson again to Sparrow, to Oliver. A little fumble, but backs himself, gets away from Harris Andrews. Again, that dangerous ball, this time to pick it. He's out of control, Oliver. Pile. Around the corner goes Cozzy, straight through the middle. He's got a couple. The Ruckman becomes the rover, gave it to Bowie. Brown, not quite. Blitzars needs help from Guthrie. Dangerous now. Pickett. Pickett goes low. Pickett goes straight. This is some sort of a night if you're a demon supporter. Out to a 38-point lead. Oh, this is where he's so dangerous, Cosy Pickett. And you can see the space that Guthrie gives him, but he's so good at ground level, one-on-one. -on -one, and it's been a problem for the Geelong defenders all day. They're great when the ball comes in long and high, but it's when this play happens. It's just when the Melbourne forwards get to their best and there's no better at ground level on the ground than this man, Cozzy Pickett. Geelong, they have 92 a game and they've only had 27 nearing three-quarter time. It's just been amazing defensive effort. Sparrow this time. Deep ball. Guthrie needs to hold his nerve. Pickett. Oh, Cozzy! How about this? It's just plain crazy. And this is what they've done well all night, Melbourne. They've competed in the air. They've won the ball at ground level. And that's just all over again. This is their smallest player in their forward 50 on that occasion, getting back on the spare defender in Guthrie and winning the ball in the air. It's just a precision. Everything they're touching is turning to gold. Harms grew up passionate demons. Supporter as a kid now. He's doing great things on the big stage. Fritsch, Henderson... Fritz with the speed. Brown's there if he needs him. Couldn't take it cleanly. Pick it. The pick up. The snap. The joy. The roar. Well, this goal literally is the story of the night. Stop each go forward, ground level ball to relatively even numbers. And then just Melbourne just too good, too fast, too agile, and kicking ground level goals. So. They've done that well tonight. This is the part of the game you're going to have to watch in the grand final when you meet Melbourne. They're just so dynamic. 